Good evening, Francisco, Martiel, Mario, and Elizabeth. Thank you for being on time. How are you today? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Martiel. How are you? I doing well, teacher. Is uh, you driving home? I am driving, but I am um, um, half kilometer to my home. Okay, okay. That's nice, drive safe. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you so much for being on time. We're going to start the class. Um, I hope that you're having a good day so far. And uh, I'm sharing the presentation with you. Uh, yesterday we were working on uh, vocabulary on some marketing strategies. Uh, some of them are here. Once that you're watching is a free sample, coupon codes, product placement, compared Comparative marketing, search engine marketing, a celebrity endorsement, and a loyalty brand, and finally, word of mouth marketing. Uh, we were working on those concepts yesterday. And for today, we have one more exercise regarding to the four P's of marketing. And this is on page 24 or if you're in support material. And here, uh, the instruction is the marketing plan is a written record of how you're going to use your marketing mix. Look at the basic of a marketing plan below and read the questions and then level each of its parts with the four P's. Uh, we have placement, price, promotion, product, or service. Uh, it says, well, we have the four of them, A, B, C, uh, etc. And it says, you get to give a product a new brand name. What name do you choose? What does your product do? And in this letter, letter A, we have to write one of the four P's. What is the, first, the, the best P to describe these two? Number one and two, you get to give the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? And what does your product do? Is it price, promotion, product service, placement? What do you think? Price is little B. How much does your product cost? Excellent. Yes, Mario, exactly right. In letter B, it matches price. Letter B, price.
finished Okay, what do you have in number, well, letter A? Is that placement, price, promotion, or is it product or service? Product service. Excellent, thank you so much, Mary. That is product service. And letter B, you already said price, it's correct. Uh, letter C? Placement. Placement, excellent. And finally, letter D? Promotion. Promotion, that is correct, excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Maria, for providing us with the answers. Now, the next exercise is um, number three. It's on page 24. You have to choose a product or service that you use every week. Uh, then create a marketing plan for this product and use the question above as a guide. So we need to think in a product or, or a service that we use um, regularly, like every week. It can be a maybe internet or maybe uh, it can be um, about food, a food service or a, a product that can be um, a personal care product maybe. And um, to, to create a marketing plan for the product, you can use the questions that we have here in the previous exercise. Um, for example, for the first P, which is product or service, you can use this question. You get to give uh, the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? And uh, what does your product do? Like a feature that makes the product special uh, for Letter B, which is price. How much does your product cost? Will you use any special price strategies like uh, coupons, sales, events, etc.? If so, which strategies and why? Uh, for letter C, which is placement, as um, Marita already said, where would you say your product? Retail stores, online, or etc.? Where would you position your product to catch the eye of the target customer? Top shelves, busy streets, uh, corner, etc. And the last one, which is promotion. How would you advertise the product? Who is your target customer? You will have uh, 10 minutes to work on that. And exercise number three, and then we are going to have a time to share the information for of your marketing plan for the product or service.
let's see we are okay we are 20 to make it easier i think that um we're going to make it as group okay as a group and uh, i'm going to create three breakout rooms and in groups you just have to think in one product or service to make it easier so you can share your ideas point for the team work. Well, we we'll have to continue here. Um, so in this case, we could be choose um, the Pedidos GIA product as well as a service. Okay, let's talk about Pedidos GIA then. And Next question. Let them create a marketing plan using the questions above. 
So, a marketing plan, <clears throat> it could be, maybe, maybe the, uh, a marketing plan could be some, um, not service, but um, giveaways. And uh, well, hold on, I have a message from my boss. Um, yes. Uh, just a moment. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> I'm boss asking for some some something for the work. So I was telling you that maybe we can use the Peditoja service and this said create a marketing plan. Use the questions about. So the questions are um, you get to give the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? What does your product do? What does your product cost? Will you use any special price strategies? So I have coupons. That that's right, coupons. So maybe if we if you use by um, three times in a three times in a week, the the service pedidos yeah, the customer could be could uh, gain or could win could win a coupon with uh, with go, with good discounts in her favorite uh, restaurants yes actually i think it's a great idea sometimes pedidos ya um Sorry. use huh? more coupons than other apps and i think that is a good reason uh people prefer choose pedidos ya than others delivery apps like Uber Eats. Uber Eats, I either know if they have a coupons. Yeah, well, I know then when you're a new user, they offer some coupons or discounts, but I think that if, you, if you're if you a person that you use regularly or every every day of the week, the Pedito Jazz service, they should, they should, um, give you coupons or <clears throat> a good good discounts for, for every time you use or like uh like uh, uh getting adding adding some um points or credit for it for customer like uh like leal every time for example when you every time you fill your your car with gas in this case Texaco, they give you points for every every single dollar, I think. Yes, I think it's for every single dollar. Okay, yeah. um what more can I do? Okay, so for me the, the create a marketing plan. And let me check the PDF. Now oh, okay. Um, questions. You... Uh huh. Uh, hi. Well, it's following the questions that you have. For example, in the number one, uh, the product is pedidos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you get to give the product a new brand name. Would you change the name pedidos? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. no. No. no, the same name. 
Yeah, yes. the same name. Okay. Now, the what does your product do? Well, the yeah, it's a it's a delivery. Well, it's a delivery app for uh, getting food from restaurants. They uh huh. They get the food. Uh, it can be delivered at home, at offices for people who maybe don't have the time to us to go to a restaurant and uh, um, order takeout. So you bring the food to the customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's right. This is what the product do, and how much does the product cost? What is the cost? Well, the cost of well, in this service, the cost. Um, in order to get some uh, um, how how can we say ganancia in English? Yeah, you can say the um. Is the 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 income Rewarding. the money in the yeah uh, the money in uh huh or the fares no it's a fair like like tarifas no no it's 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 in focus in order to obtain extra money for for giving that service oh you charge you charge charge. There is an uh, uh, you charge for the service for the delivery service for the delivery service. Okay, so it, it is the the cost of a food plus the delivery service fee. That's right. That fee. Okay. So in this case, the product cost. If the restaurant is near around two or three kilometers around nearby the restaurant, it could be free. But if if there is four or five kilometers around the restaurant from the people that has required that food, the, the fee, it should be $1. Oh, the service fee varies from one to $5. Yeah. San Salvador. Only in San Salvador? Only in San Salvador. Okay, good. Sounds good. So you're doing a good job with your plan. You can continue. Okay, thank you. Your ideas, are you creating a PowerPoint or just writing? Uh, I'm just writing. So maybe if we, if I, if I try, if, if I get the opportunity to present it, I only uh, speak. Okay. Okay, that's fine. You can just okay. um, say who's going to present the 1P. For example, you're going to talk about the product. Someone else is going to talk about the price. Someone else is going to talk about the placement, etc. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay, so then the delivery app for products. Uh, <clears throat> like fast food or <clears throat> medicine. Uh, like uh -huh. fast food what are the service sorry uh, uh, for service is is one up like uh pedido ya but ours that is our not service pedido is, ya or is the same <laughs> it is the same oh because the, there is another group who has chosen that one <laughs> ah. uh, but but you can uh, maybe uh, give a different name like a new brand. Yeah, yeah. It's not Our going to be is... a name pedidos ya. It's so you're going to give a new name, a brand new name. Yes, I, I have think... a new name. 
Okay. Our name is Java. Java. <laughs> Very Salvadorian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's easy. <laughs> Okay. And, uh, nice. What the, what does your product do? Our product is is delivery app for products like a fast food, medicine, uh, market. Mm -hmm. About the price? Uh, about the Almost. price, I I think that the delivery it costs like around one or two dollars, or maybe even less than uh, one dollar. Sometimes in some restaurant, but most of the time it's around one or two dollar, if I remember. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the service fee depends on the distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. First to five or one to five dollars. Okay, I write uh, the cost of service of the service depend on the distance between uh, distance of the customers. Special price strategies, coupons, sales events, etc. And if so, which strategy? Um, I remember that sometimes could they, be could be. Uh, uh, like a loyalty plan? Yes. For example, once a week, we can give a, a, um, one service a day um, without, without cost. Maybe. Yeah, it could be well um the loyalty loyalty plans that I know like in gas stations um they give you some points for every purchase um so it depends if you are um, 
a frequent client, uh, you can get more benefits. Yeah. Maybe something like that. So we, we can, so we can uh, give um, some coupon. I have an idea. Could be we could give some coupon to exchanges in guy station. Could be. Sorry. Can you repeat? We could we could give some coupons to exchanges. In gas stations, mm -hmm. like what you said, yeah, I think it's good. Maybe a whole branding strategy. Mm -hmm with another uh, brands.
well, the number five is um, where will you sell your product? In this case, uh, but the, the, the service is delivery, doesn't have any place. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I think that um, maybe following the examples, we can say that it's online because you ask to the product uh, on the app. Yeah, could be uh, right service online, online service. Mm -hmm. Okay. About number six. Uh, uh, is where we you position your product to catch the eye of your target customer. Like top shelf, busy street, corner, etc. Maybe the places uh, we are going to choose to to put um, some advertising or I don't know, but I was thinking between the videos in, in YouTube. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was thinking on um, TikTok. <laughs> there is a lot yeah. of people that use TikTok. Yeah, I know a, a lot of people that use it as well. <laughs> It's most com it, it is most common that we, we think. <laughs> and maybe online ads on social network. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe, well, <clears throat> teacher, how can I say um, pasarela? <laughs> pasarela, like, um, uh, para peatones, para pasar la calle. Ah, para peatones. Uh -huh. ah, la de modelo sé que es catwalk. Let me see. <laughs> Let me investigate. Uh, I I have seen some ads on pasarela, bridge, uh, or. Uh, oh, okay. Well, so you you mean the billboards? I I se los puse en el meeting chat. No sé si lo logran ver. Billboard. Oh, okay. Son los eh, rótulos que se ponen en la calle, ya sea en pasarelas, mm. en, de repente mm. en, ajá, los, como vallas publicitarias. Las vallas publicitarias yeah. son billboards. Okay.
Okay. Thanks, teacher. Um, number seven is uh, how will you advertise the product? I think uh, this question is um, the billboards. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because uh, the billboards are advertised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we can answer. Reading, uh, we are going to use billboards. Uh, yeah. Well, the last one is um, who is your target customer? Um, in this case, I think it could be everybody use a smartphone. Every smartphone is so. Everybody that uses a smartphone could be a target customer. Yeah, I think. Um, uh, um,
if we are going to give coupons that you can change in gas station, maybe people that has a car. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. That's a good point. Okay, we're going to start uh, with group number one. Uh, let me see. There were Daniel Ernesto, Jose Enrique, Aymara, Elizabeth, Emerson, Hazel, and Byron. Huh? Okay. So that you can present your marketing plan of your product or service that you choose. Okay. Okay. Um, so. We choose pedidos ya. Yeah? So <clears throat> the first question is, um, if you if we uh change the brand name or if we are going to choose another one. So in that we we select to use uh the same name in this case uh pedidos ya. Okay. And what does our product do? So this product it's a deli delivery app. And what is the cost? How much does your product cost? The cost uh, would depends from of the area 
according to the restaurant. For example, near San Salvador, near the capital, it would be free, but far away the capital is from one to five dollars. Okay, sounds reasonable. Okay, um, will you use any special price strategies? Yeah, will we use uh, dis discounts? For example, when customers complete three deliveries in a week, they will be they will have a discount from the fifty percent on the next on the next uh, sale. Okay, um, where will you sell your product? Uh, will we use a, an application product that will be available? on the three main platforms like uh, Android, Apple, and Huawei Store. Okay, uh, where will you position your product to catch the eye of your target customer? So will we use a, a busy street corner? How will you advertise the product? Well, will we do it using the social media websites like, well, the most popular like uh, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, and the last one, who is your target customers? The customers will be every citizen from the cap from the capital, all the made, made department, San Salvador. Great. Very well done. This sounds like a very well structured uh, marketing plan and you covered all. You covered everything. So congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for your participation. So let's listen to room number three. There were Guadalupe, Carla, Victor, Alex, Manuel Alexander, uh, Julissa, and I think that you had Magdiel there too. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh... We uh, we choose a uh, delivery app. <clears throat> um, we going to we we choose uh, other name. Um, his name is Java. It's like a, a other others app delivery, but um his his function is 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 delivery for product like fast food and medicine and other things um the price and the, the cost of service depend on the distance and about the strategy we think about the uh, we could give some coupon to exchange in gas station. Um, the placement, because it's an uh, online service, but um, thinking about the, the position, our product to catch and uh, the haze, Target customer. I think we will create some short videos to be in stock of promotionals between the videos and at the end <clears throat> about this this seven question. I'll advertise the product 
could be billboards. Um, we think about uh, our target customer. I think and uh, that everybody that use a smartphone could be a target target customer. Only that teacher. Okay, great that you cover all the aspects of the marketing plan. Sounds like a good a strategy. It was pretty similar to the previous group. The name was really creative and it's nice, important that you're not only going to deliver food, but other services like medicines, which is very useful. Congratulations for your job. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, you did it great. Thank you for participating. So um, I think that only two out of the three rooms were working on the assignment. So that's it for this assignment. And we're going to um, check attendance and then we're going to continue with your with our plan. Let's say present when you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Teacher present. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Remy Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present. Thank you. Emerson, uh, sorry, uh, Gertrudis Aymara Vaquerano. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique Pineda. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamile Pialta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Martí Alessau García. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alexandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Vidal Byron Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Rosales. Okay, that's it for today's attendance. I'm going to continue sharing my screen with you. Okay, now that we work on the presentations, we have a, a couple of links here so we can wrap up the topic with the, uh, so we were practicing with enough on too many, et cetera. 
So we have a couple of uh, exercises here. Let me stop sharing and I will get them um, copy paste in the meeting chat so it's easier for you to access them. Okay, I sent the two um, links for you to practice. And this is the last exercise that we have um, for to practice uh, enough with uh, nouns, with adjectives, too, too much, too many, etc. So you can visit the two sites and then you can check your answers. We are going to work in them um, in group so that you can share what you remember about this topic and it's going to be easier for you as well. So let me recreate the breakout rooms. Remember that you can share the screen so that the rest of your classmates can see, everybody can see. You just need to click on where it says share the screen. On the toolbar, you have the microphone, the camera, and there is a uh, button that sh said share screen, uh, or if you have it in Spanish, it would say compartir pantalla. And then you select wh what you want to share, and then everybody can see your screen. So let me reopen the breakout room. Okay, there you go.
All right, now that everybody's back again, how do you feel the exercises? Were they easy, complicated? Hello? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Uh, my, my internet lost. Uh, you can phone them in a group again, please. So, okay, the internet kicked you out. Uh, you weren't able to get the link? No, I was doing it with my group. El, ah. el, el ejercicio, pero se me descubre. Oh, ah, so. Ahí. Ok, so. Se me you... ¿Cómo me puedo meter de nuevo al grupo? We finished the, the rooms. Ah, ya estuvo. We finished. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Okay>. sorry. <laughs> you have the links. And sorry. the rest of the group? Could you finish the exercises? Or everybody less connection. Hello. So I hope that you finished the exercises. I wanted to know your opinion about them to see if they work, if you need more exercise like this one, if you enjoyed them. Well, uh, sorry, I have mute. Uh, we only have one pending exercise, the number three. And for me, in my opinion, I like this kind of exercises. Okay, great. Um, are you able to finish the exercise and check your answers? Yes. Okay, that's it. Um, okay, so I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed these exercises and that you like them. So I'm going to um, to look for more in every topic as possible to include them in our classes. Okay, now um, to continue here with uh, Mark Dean, let's, uh, let me... Okay, uh, we have, a, this is our next exercise on the PowerPoint and we're going to read a little bit about consumers culture. We have this reading in the, in the presentation. Um, we're going to read about the four ways to find bargains and discuss which ones have you or your or someone in the group tried. We're not going to read in pairs. We're going to read them here as a whole group. The, let's read about this. Smart shoppers, how do you find the best bargains? Do you know bargains? What's bargain? What is the meaning of a bargain? Mm, I don't know, teacher. No, you don't know? No one knows the meaning of a bargain? It is ganga. Correct. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. That is uh, well known as ganga here in El Salvador. That's the ganga. <laughs> How do you find the best bargains? Now you know. Um, Para los que sean nuevos, anótenos por ahí, gangas. Muy útil, <laughs> bargain. Um, who wants to read the first um, the first part of this paragraph? This is Rick 24. How does Rick find the best bargains? A volunteer to read? A volunteer to start reading? Uh, me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Um, 
I am really into online auctions. Members sell each other all kind of stuff. I really get excited about the um, meeting. meeting. Sometimes there is a lot of, of competition, but sometimes you're the only bidder. See this hat? It only cost me two dollars. Okay, good. Is there any question about the this part of the reading? No. No questions. Okay, so let us continue with Carla, thirty-two years old. Who wants to read about Carla? When I go shopping, me uh, teacher. Thank you, Aymara. When I go shopping, I use this cool say locator app. It provides provides information about in store sales. Do bargain. Hunters free of charge. The app collects information from thousands of stores. And you can also send information about deals you find to other shoppers. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading, Aymara. That's interesting. I didn't know that, well, maybe here we do not have apps um like uh like this one right sounds interesting now let's read about norma volunteer to read about norma volunteer okay. Francisco. Francisco. Okay, thank you so much for helping us reading. Any question about this um, part of the reading? Um, what's the meaning of uh, in the first one? The Rick uh, online au auctions. Auctions are subastas. Ah, okay. Subastas and in India, um, there's sometimes in uh, eBay you can find any kind of auctions in eBay and some other um online um sites where you can shop. Okay. Any other question about vocabulary? This is very useful vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So we have here auction. The, the other word, uh, biding or bidding. Uh -huh. About the bidding, when you bid, is is a, cuando uno hace una oferta. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. eh, pero una oferta, por ejemplo, eh, eh, hay una subasta, una auction. Y yo veo, hay un, no sé, lo que sea, un celular, eh, y entonces empieza la subasta. Entonces, cuando yo ofrezco dinero por ese celular, ese es mi, mi, mi bid, el bidding. Mm, okay. Es cuando usted ofrece, yo doy tanto, yo doy tanto, y así, bidding. So, in that case, bidder. To be el ofertante. Okay. Uh -huh. That's the person. The person, okay. Uh, 
Any other question? And the next reading, I think this only bargain would be like uh, una palabra nueva, que dijimos bargain, que sería como ganga. And then about the uh, norma, in that part, is there new vocabulary? No, teacher. No? Okay, good. Uh, now, the last part of this um, reading, Ling Wei. Let's see, Ling Wei, 43 years old. Uh, volunteer to read about Ling? Uh, me, teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Um, for food and everyday items, I recommend wholesale clubs to everyone I know. For a small membership fee, you can go to a big warehouse-like store that sells everything in bulk, in large quantities. The rule there is the more you buy, the more you save. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Questions about vocabulary here? Um, holds, wholesale. Wholesale is like, um, and donde venden por, por mayoreo. Venta por mayoreo. Mm -hmm. Venta por mayor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other one, it's a uh, um, bulk. Is in, in cantidades grandes. Mm. Uh -huh. A eso se refiere bulk, a cuando es una cantidad grande. Eso es como en, en por ejemplo, un, un, un ejemplo de wholesale club here in El Salvador sería Price Mart. Mm. Solo con miembros, hay que, hay que pagar la membership, que es la membresía para poder comprar ahí y mayor se vende en, en, en cantidades grandes. Es, es raro lo que vendan por unidades quizás, más que vienen como eh, cosas en dúo, si es cereal son bolsas grandes o vienen paquetes de tres cajas y así. A eso se refiere que, que todo lo venden en, en bulk. Oh, ok, ok. Good. Now, um, which ones have you tried which one of, of these ways to find bargain have you tried i have tried for example online auction i have tried yes um wholesale clubs and also i have tried um Secondhand clothes at a thrift store or thrift shop. What about you? Which ones have you tried? No, well, my being me, I didn't have that opportunity to do that kind of sale, that kind of buys. Okay, so you, you haven't had the opportunity to shop in, in any of these ways. Yeah, to shop, that's right, to shop. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Have you ever purchased in online auctions um, at thrift shops? Wholesale. I think that the app locator is something that we here in El Salvador we don't have the kind of app. Nobody. Nobody has tried of this. Well, maybe 
Uh, it's not an online auction, but I buy sometimes in marketplace on Facebook. <laughs> Bargains there, and yeah, and market Facebook market. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. excellent. There are a lot of bargains. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you so much for sharing, Alex. Anybody else? So, a few shoppers here in this class. <laughs> okay. Um, then we have a listening exercise, uh, shopping preferences to practice listening. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, you have this in the presentation in case that you have not printed it. We're going to allow you some uh, a couple of minutes for you to write on your notebook. So you can draw this chart or just write the information that we need in your notebooks. So first we're going to listen to Ben and Anna talk about shopping online and in stores. That's kind of different. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to shop online or do you prefer to shop in stores? I personally prefer to shop in stores because I like to see the product. If it's something that I have to try it on, um, I, I prefer that. So because then if it is online, sometimes you don't have the chance to return the items or the items are not what you expected. So that's what I prefer to shop in stores. What about you? Do you prefer to shop online or in stores? What's your opinion? What are your preferences? Well, I prefer to go well it depends it depends on the item because well for example a cell phone you know i can check in some other websites about it or youtube videos and that one that the cell phone doesn't change and if i, I want maybe if i try to buy clothes like shirts, shirts, uh, jeans, or shoes, I prefer to go to the store because, you know, in the picture, the color or the material could be look, uh, having a good looking in the picture. But when I go to the store, maybe in that will be the same, the same aspect. Okay, excellent. That's a good point. So it depends of what you're going to buy. And you say some things you prefer to um, shop online or sometimes or some things that you prefer to shop in a store. So that's a good point. Um, now for this, uh, we're going to listen and then uh, they are talking about uh, shopping online and in a store. And you have to choose their preference and write the positive aspect that they mentioned about it. So we have um, shopping preference, Ben, Anna, online in a store, and then positive aspect and then negative aspect. So you have to write the three positive aspects. And then in part B, we are going to write the two negative aspects. So we're going to go uh, little by little. First, we're going to listen and write the three positive aspects that they mentioned. Remember to check their shopping preference 
check if they said online or in the store, and then the positive, three positive aspects. When we finish that, we're going to proceed with part B. Let me know when you're ready for the listening. Ready, ready. teacher. Okay, I'm going to play the audio. Unit 8, Consumer Culture, Lesson A, Page 62, Exercise 2, Shopping Preferences, Part A. Listen to Ben and Anna talk about shopping online and in stores. Choose their preference and write three positive aspects they mention about it. 1. Ben I definitely prefer shopping online because even if one retailer doesn't have what I want, it's likely that another retailer is going to have it. I rarely have to worry about things being completely sold out anymore. And nothing can compare to the Internet in terms of selection. I love being able to buy things from anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Of course, the farther away the store, the more I have to pay for shipping, which I have to admit is one drawback. It can be quite expensive sometimes, but I usually get a really good price because I'm able to compare prices so easily online. Some websites even do it for you. Basically, it's a great way to shop, except for having to wait for delivery. That can be unpredictable, which bothers me since I'm... I'm kind of an impatient person, I guess. 2. Anna When it comes to shopping for clothes, I'm not an online shopper. I really need to try clothes on before I buy them to make sure they fit right. I've had some bad experiences buying clothes online, and in some cases, ended up having to return them. And I really appreciate the personal touch of attentive sales staff that you get in a store. Some have a lot of experience and can be really helpful. Of course, not everything about shopping in stores is perfect. For example, some of the stores I like can get incredibly crowded during big sales, which is really annoying. And when a store doesn't have what I need, I have to go somewhere else, which wastes a lot of time. That said, I still prefer shopping in stores because a shopping trip is usually social for me, a way to go out with friends and have fun. Let's listen one more time. Unit 8, Consumer Culture. Lesson A, page 62, exercise 2, shopping preferences, part A. Listen to Ben and Anna talk about shopping online and in stores. Choose their preference and write three positive aspects they mention about it. 1. Ben I definitely prefer shopping online because even if one retailer doesn't have what I want, it's likely that another retailer is going to have it. I rarely have to worry about things being completely sold out anymore. And nothing can compare to the Internet in terms of selection. I love being able to buy things from anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Of course, the farther away the store, the more I have to pay for shipping, which I have to admit is one drawback. It can be quite expensive sometimes, but I usually get a really good price because I'm able to compare prices so easily online. Some websites even do it for you. Basically, it's a great way to shop except for having to wait for delivery. That can be unpredictable, which bothers me since I'm... I'm kind of an impatient person, I guess. 2. Anna When it comes to shopping for clothes, I'm not an online shopper. I really need to try clothes on before I buy them to make sure they fit right. I've had some bad experiences buying clothes online, and in some cases, 
ended up having to return them. And I really appreciate the personal touch of attentive sales staff that you get in a store. Some have a lot of experience and can be really helpful. Of course, not everything about shopping in stores is perfect. For example, some of the stores I like can get incredibly crowded during big sales, which is really annoying. And when a store doesn't have what I need, I have to go somewhere else, which wastes a lot of time. That said, I still prefer shopping in stores because a shopping trip is usually social for me, a way to go out with friends and have fun. Did you get the three positive aspects and the shopping preferences for Ben and Anna? Or you need to listen one more time? One more time, please. Okay. Unit 8. Consumer Culture. Lesson A. Page 62. Exercise 2. Shopping Preferences. Part A. Listen to Ben and Anna talk about shopping online and in stores. Choose their preference and write three positive aspects they mention about it. 1. Ben. I definitely prefer shopping online because even if one retailer doesn't have what I want, it's likely that another retailer is going to have it. I rarely have to worry about things being completely sold out anymore. And nothing can compare to the internet in terms of selection. I love being able to buy things from anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Of course, the farther away the store, the more I have to pay for shipping, which I have to admit is one drawback. It can be quite expensive sometimes, but I usually get a really good price because I'm able to compare prices so easily online. Some websites even do it for you. Basically, it's a great way to shop except for having to wait for delivery. That can be unpredictable, which bothers me since I'm, I'm kind of an impatient person, I guess. 2. Anna when it comes to shopping for clothes, I'm not an online shopper. I really need to try clothes on before I buy them to make sure they fit right. I've had some bad experiences buying clothes online, and in some cases, ended up having to return them. And I really appreciate the personal touch of attentive sales staff that you get in a store. Some have a lot of experience and can be really helpful. Of course, not everything about shopping in stores is perfect. For example, some of the stores I like can get incredibly crowded during big sales, which is really annoying. And when a store doesn't have what I need, I have to go somewhere else, which wastes a lot of time. That said, I still prefer shopping in stores because a shopping trip is usually social for me, a way to go out with friends and have fun. Okay, so what are shopping preferences for Ben? Online. Online, okay. And the positive aspect that you mentioned? You get the uh, positive aspect that he mentioned? Uh, maybe that if one retail uh, doesn't have the, any product, maybe the, we can search in another retail. Okay, yes. He mentioned that if one store doesn't have what he needs, he can look for another one easier. Uh huh. Good. Anything else? What else that you mentioned? He can compare price 
from all when he's uh, trying to searching searching about to want to buy, he's able to compare in the uh, cheaper prices. Excellent. Yes, he also mentioned that it is easier to compare prices and some some uh, websites do it for you. That's nice. What else did he mention? Buy things anywhere. Uh huh. Yes, the things are new, uh, sold out. There is a very wide selection, and he gets a good price because he can compare prices easily. That's it. Excellent. So you get the idea of the three positive aspect. Very well done. Now, what about Anna? What, what is her shopping preference? In the store. In the store. Uh huh. In the stores. Great. What are the positive aspects that you mentioned? She can try the clothes. Yes, when it comes to clothes, she can try them on. Uh huh. Excellent. What else? She spent uh, time visiting the different shops. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. What else? Is funnier than by online. Yes, it, it's it's funnier. Uh huh. Anything else that you get? She likes the attention of the shop staff. Uh mm -hmm. Yes, she also mentioned that. Excellent. She uh -huh. She likes social time. Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent. He mentioned this positive aspect, the ones that you already mentioned. They're hearing the answer. She can try on clothes. Mm -hmm. The personal touch of sales staff, uh -huh, because they are attentive. And a shopping treat is usually social. That's Sometimes you go shopping with friends and it comes becomes social after or before shopping. You go for a coffee, um, you talk to your friends, etc. So yes, excellent. Now let us um complete the part B. Um let's write the negative aspect. Now we're going to be getting the information for the negative aspect. They mentioned two. Two negative aspect that Ben mentioned about shopping online, and Anna also mentioned two negative aspect of a shopping in a store. Let's listen and write down the information. Remember, we're going to write the two negative aspect. Page sixty-two, exercise two, shopping preferences, part B. Listen again. Write two negative aspects they mention in the chart. 1. Ben I definitely prefer shopping online because even if one retailer doesn't have what I want, it's likely that another retailer is going to have it. I rarely have to worry about things being completely sold out anymore. And nothing can compare to the Internet in terms of selection, I love being able to buy things from anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Of course, the farther away the store, the more I have to pay for shipping, which I have to admit is one drawback. It can be quite expensive sometimes, but I usually get a really good price because I'm able to compare prices so easily online. Some websites even do it for you. Basically, it's a great way to shop, except for having to wait for delivery. That can be unpredictable, which bothers me, since I'm... I'm kind of an impatient person, I guess. 
Two, Anna. When it comes to shopping for clothes, I'm not an online shopper. I really need to try clothes on before I buy them to make sure they fit right. I've had some bad experiences buying clothes online, and in some cases, ended up having to return them. And I really appreciate the personal touch of attentive sales staff that you get in a store. Some have a lot of experience and can be really helpful. Of course, not everything about shopping in stores is perfect. For example, some of the stores I like can get incredibly crowded during big sales, which is really annoying. And when a store doesn't have what I need, I have to go somewhere else, which wastes a lot of time. That said, I still prefer shopping in stores because a shopping trip is usually social for me, a way to go out with friends and have fun. Were you able to write the two negative aspect? Were you able to write the two negative aspects or do you need to listen one more time? Can you mention one of the negative aspects about shopping online? Maybe <clears throat> delivery time. The delivery time, excellent. What else? Quite expensive shipping. Uh huh. Shipping can be expensive and waiting for delivery, excellent. Those are the two negative aspects that are mentioned. Thank you, Alexander and Aymara. Now, um, Anna, what does Anna mention as negative aspect of shopping in stores? What are the negative aspects of shopping in stores? It's very annoying when stores uh, go to big sales. Uh huh. Yes, kind of annoying in big sales. Uh huh. Great. Any other? The second aspect. When a store doesn't have what they want, they have to go to another store. Excellent. Uh huh. She mentioned that the store gets crowded. Would you in sales? Excellent. And when a store doesn't have what she needs, she has to go somewhere else. And it's a waste of time. So great. You did a very nice job with this listening exercise. And uh, see it for today. It's, it's time to go to sleep. Have some rest. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.